Is there a problem? It's more of an inquiry. Well, maybe I can help. I hope so. My name's Sky Chandler. Excuse well, me, I'm sorry to interrupt. I think we have a bit of an emergency here. <clears throat> now what? I told you this wasn't a great idea. Sander burned his hand. It, it looks very serious. Maybe someone could take a look at it. Burns are not my area of expertise. But if you could just take a look at it, he's in a lot of pain. Why should I care about his pain after what he's done to my family? You had better care or I'll slap a lawsuit on General Hospital. <clears throat> Grandfather did something. Cut a deal. What? Xander goes free if you what? AJ, stop, okay? He put the screws to you, Em. Admit it. Okay, yes, I came home because of Grandfather. I knew it. He had been begging me for months to come home, okay? And after he got attacked, I, I knew I had to be here with him. And you coincidentally broke up with Xander at the same time. I didn't have a choice. This is the same Xander you went to the wall for, Em. Pleaded for his life. Even though he... he held you hostage for weeks. You never missed visiting hours when he was locked up for murder charges. I... What's your point? Grandfather cries assault, and you buckle and bail on a guy that you've been defending for months? It doesn't add up. Em, I can help if you tell me the truth. <sighs> look, I see the way you look at this guy. Look, AJ, no matter how I feel, Xander has a really horrible temper. I don't even like the guy, and I don't buy it. You love this guy. AJ, please, this hurts too much. Em, Em, wait. What did you do to her now? Huh? Kudos goes to grandfather, Ned, not me. <sighs> he faked his attack, set up Xander, and Emily knows it. You've been drinking. There's proof. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't have it. Not yet. But it exists. All we have to do is get our hands on it. So grandfather whacked himself on the head, rolled around in the alley, and then waited for some passerby to dial 911. That's right, and it worked. Grandfather ends up in ER and nail Xander for assault. And if it wasn't for one of the nurses at the hospital, no one would have suspected a thing. She's the one with the proof. The proof is in grandfather's medical records. When you get your hands on them, let me know. Not me, you. <laughs> no, Junior, this is your fantasy, not mine. Wait, think about it, Ned. When Xander went free after Sorrell's trial, grandfather wanted to tear him apart. He wanted to put this guy in jail. Now, the next thing we know, grandfather's in ER. Mugged by a mystery attacker. Now, at first, he doesn't remember a thing. But then gradually starts giving the police information. An eyewitness who then nails Xander and then mysteriously disappears. The witness left town? Right after Xander was arrested. Then, Grandfather goes to the PD to give his statement against Xander. At the last minute, has a little heart-to-heart -heart with M. After which... He refuses to press charges. Xander walks. Why are you telling me this? Because I'm on to him. He knows it. I hate to admit this. Um, I need your help. To do what? To get those medical records. And, you know... Nail grandfather to the That about wall. sums it up. We gotta get those records before they end up in storage somewhere. We gotta do this for him. You with me? Or against me? Don't you ever walk into this hospital again and threaten me or anybody else on this staff. I can make quite a case against a hospital who refuses to treat a patient based on the personal feelings of its chief of staff. I believe that's called discrimination. You know what? I don't need him or his help. Alan, you know you haven't heard the last of this. So you're the chief of staff here? Yes, you're going to have to excuse me a minute. All right. I've spoken to Tony. He's on his way to his office. We'll see you there. Thank you, Alan. Yeah. So, how can I help you, Ms. Chandler? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Just one of those days. I apologize. Uh, maybe somebody at the desk can help you. Sure. Hello. I love you and I miss you and I wish you were here. I will be soon. You're not having second thoughts about renewing our vows, are you? 
Oh, let me see. Alan. <laughs> I gotta tell you, if the next chapter of our lives is as exciting as the first, it's a good thing we've got each other to hold on to. I'll be there soon. I love you. Alan. Hi. Hi. Well, how's your time now? It's fine. I just have a question that I... Oh, somebody at the desk must have helped her. Oh. How about we go into your office, okay? Of course. Great. Thank you. Well, I should have told you everything when I was here last year in Port Charles. I don't understand. Was there some other problem besides the search you were on? Let's just say there was some unfinished business. Thank you. Dr. Colton, please call patient counseling. Dr. Colton, please call patient counseling. I know how awkward it Thank was you. last year when we said goodbye. Monica had blown our friendship no, no, way No, no, Alan, it had nothing to do with Monica. It's what happened years ago. Between us? You know what? I can't believe how many years have gone by. Well, I feel like I've lived a lifetime since the last time I saw you. We were young, weren't we? So young. And it was romantic. I hope you don't have any regrets. Looking back, I... I think there are some things I would change, if I could. Ray, you need to tell me, what is it? Dr. Scott Palmer, Lose something? Oh, my earring. I think I left it at the front desk. Um, well, are you, uh, waiting to see Alan? Yeah, but if you're a doctor, then you certainly take no, precedence. No, I'm not a doctor. Uh, patient? I'm afraid I'm sicker than that. Dr. I'm family. To Dr. Creepy to X-ray. We promised when we said goodbye that we would never look back. Alan, that's the reason that I never told you. Told me what, Ray? Alan? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. This is Ray Cummings, an old friend. This is Ned Ashton, my nephew. Oh, Ned, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alan, I, um, I really need to speak to you about your daughter. Has something happened, Emily? I'm afraid so. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, this is obviously a bad time. Uh, why don't I catch up with you a little later? Listen, you must not leave town without seeing me, okay? I won't. Right. Ned, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Orderly to receive you. Orderly to receive you. So you agree with A.J.'s theory that father faked his attack? There's only one way to find out for sure. Grandfather's medical records. A.J. says the proof is in there. I wasn't his doctor. Yes, but you're the chief of staff. You're the patient's son. Now, it can't be unethical for you to open that file. Especially if grandfather is guilty of fraud. Pretty picture. You know, Emily, nothing could have made your parents happier than to have you back home here, and especially today. Hmm? Well, Grandfather, how happy do you think they would be if they knew why? Emily, come on. What? You know, you, uh, you handled A.J. beautifully earlier. You know that? As long as you abide by our agreement, then, uh, Sam, a free man, I won't press charges. <laughs> Are you finished? I don't want to hurt you, Emily. And someday, you're going to agree that I was right. You can keep me away from Xander. But you will never keep him out of my heart. It hurts so much for me, Grandfather. I feel like I'm half alive. But it must be much better than the emptiness that you feel every single day of your life. Edward, could you give me a hand, here, please? Here, 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 here. Let me help. Thanks. Oh. Here, Cliff. 
Did Lila do this arrangement? Yes, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> oh, I'll say. Oh. oh. Careful. We don't want those injuries kicking up again. Oh, come on, AJ. I was I was roughed up. I wasn't shot. The day is still young. Come on down. I want everybody happy today. Send him packing and maybe we will be. No, this is a day of celebration, not fighting, hopefully. Oh, I want that too. It feels right. It feels right being here, renewing my vows. Tell me something, Mom. <laughs> How have you and Dad held it together for so long? <laughs> a lot of hard work. <laughs> and patience. And love. A lot of love. Speaking of which, have uh, you heard from Hannah at all? I'm more worried about Emily right now than I am about myself. Well, she's back home where we can all take care of her. I know, but she got a raw deal, Mom. I'm not going to let Grandfather get away with this.